What's up guys, we're back. I'm gonna walk you through some of the things that I do to kind of keep our avocados alive, especially with this heat coming up. Today is Friday. It's supposed to get up into like 97, 98 degrees where I'm at, Southern California. Check your temperature where you're at locally. You might have a cooler situation, which is good for you. But for me, yesterday and today, we were in the 90s and it's expected to kind of stay pretty warm this weekend also. So what are the things that I do to kind of keep these guys cool and alive and protecting them from the heat? So number one, mulch. If you see all the mulch that I got down here, I mean, this is a thick, thick layer of mulch. If you have good mulch, that really helps support like root growth and then also helps keeps the roots nice and cool. If you don't have enough, add more. If you think you have enough, add more anyways. Um, I have plenty of mulch and I tend to kind of over mulch now and it seems to be working out great. So number one, mulch for sure. Here's my reed. Check out how much mulch I got on there. I added even more mulch. Uh, I know a viewer had recommended that I added additional mulch and I went ahead and just did it. So, seems to be pretty happy. I mean, there's new growth coming out, which is good. Let me show you my other reed also here. I added more mulch, of course. Lots of new growth coming out. Number two. A little extra water, especially when it's hot and you know it's gonna be hot. So more than anything, it's just like supplemental water, right? Like add a little extra water in the morning to cool down the ground and all of that water will just evaporate and cool the tree down throughout the day. Since I know it's gonna be hot, I did some watering the night before and the morning and then I'll do a supplemental maybe around one o'clock uh, or so. And essentially it's just my little sprayers that I have down here, if you can see that. Not sure if it's zooming in correctly, but. So I have a Wi-Fi enabled sprinkler timer and it's nice, I can just sit in the house where it's nice and cool, turn the sprinklers on, turn it on for 10 minutes and cool these guys down. So this is my Mexicola uh, in my prior video you know we got fruit so we're hoping that these guys stick I don't know if you can see that here's another little guy tons of mulch also this is my surprise so here's my bacon it's taking the heat pretty well which is good so one way you can tell if your tree is thirsty is if you look at some of the new growth that's coming out here, Let's see if I can focus on that. You'll see like the leaf, like I don't, my leaves are pretty good right now, but there's a point where the leaves would kind of droop kind of like that. That's when you know they're thirsty. And that's why you add a little extra water, supplemental water. Um, I've been doing it, so even though we're pretty hot right now these guys look pretty good all right so number three paint your branches especially if you have a tree that you can see I painted it white essentially 50% latex paint and 50% water just paint it it's gonna help protect your branches from burning it's kind of like us you gotta have sunblock when you're outside the paint helps protects these guys from burning so it also from what I've seen so far helps kind of promote growth just because it's nice and cool so that's number three make sure you paint your branches make sure you, you know when they get bigger and more mature and established you're probably not gonna have to do that unless you top it or unless you stump it, then you're gonna have to paint the whole trunk. 
but while it's still small and the leaves haven't really covered in the bottom I mean this one has kind of like a skirt which is kind of cool so it's keeping the, the trunk down below here a little cooler so I mean still got flowers all over the place so keeping it cool will help keep your flowers on and it will also help keep your fruit from dropping so so number four in extreme extreme conditions you should do some shade cloth especially for me we get up into the 100 105 sometimes um, on those days if you know that they're coming get some shade cloth out here and help protect it that way I'm gonna show you a shade cloth set up here in two seconds and um, show you what I'm doing and hopefully gives you guys some inspiration on you know doing this also pause this is that shade cloth I've been talking about comes with um, like these metal D rings up here also so I call this my quick deploy I leave the hooks in the ground I leave the well I take it all down when it's not hot and then when it's over a hundred I know it's gonna get over a hundred I'll just pop it up real quick so it's nice and ready for the Sun just wanted to kind of demonstrate it real quick but shade is good so having your trunk painted and then in addition to that getting the shade is really gonna help protect it especially these younger ones this is my Kona Charwell it's actually doing pretty good compared to the video that I made earlier in the year it's definitely leafing out and growing bigger hopefully yours are leafing out also and getting a little bigger anyways that's what I do monitor the temperature check to see if it's gonna get really hot if it is be prepared um, will be hot this weekend but should be good see you guys